Welcome to the roundtable discussion here at the International Republican Institute. Uh, we welcome you all. My name is Umi Bacheli from Sahel Films Academy. The objective of this forum, uh, like we have said in the, in the letter, is to talk about elections and development. And uh, one of the things that IRI has been supporting CSOs to infuse is also voter education in terms of the why of voting. How do we really define a good elections uh, in terms of development? Development challenges that we face as far as uh, the Gambia is concerned. I think management is definitely one Management and then you know, capacity also of those who are in, uh, actually responsible for uh, making policies as well as implementing those policies. The accountability vibe that has been raised I think is really important. Mm -hmm. um, but what is even more important is to strengthen the institutions that are actually set up to provide that accountability. National Human Rights Commission, the courts, and other oversight bodies. As a citizen, way, I think we can do more to support. There is no wheelchair around this area, and it should have a wheelchair there. Mm -hmm. But you see, these things, again, it's to do with our society. Mm -hmm. We have political parties. They must, they, they must believe. Mm -hmm. You see, we have to believe in these things and not just talk about it. Mm -hmm. From our homes, from the political parties, civic education, the National Human Rights Commission. What we need, I remember uh, the first uh, training we had, a particular hotel. We were going to have a series of trainings there. We told them that if you know within the next two, three weeks, have a rap here, we will not actually be I think our leaders. Really are the problem um, of this continent. You go to women, you start to do that already. Um, you change the laws and want to stay for another time. Created troubles, people died, you stay on. You stay on. Later on, you know, it, the military died to the movie. What does that mean is that we do stand for an election? But um, if they nominate you, you have a barrier. I'd like to thank the sports by the Chinese Fiscal Factories, which is not only polluting our environment, but also is taking the vital tools and resources of the locals. These uh, hundred people are hungry. Uh, most Gambians have lost some confidence in the ability of, you know, uh, the quality of our uh, National Assembly members, as well as their ability to have very good assembly. Education, of course, is a must. You must have the basic. Mm -hmm. It is important. Mm -hmm. But integrity is very important. Mm -hmm. But not only that, we should not think that all educated people are saints. I think that most of these parliament here are in fact don't know exactly what is their role and then their functions. Because sometimes you make some of these points like, I will build a hospital, I will build a road, and I say, wow. Mm -hmm. So if a parliament here in the Bible, the system of the New York, has function and their responsibility, I think that's a big, big, big problem. Somebody else uh, built this months that they are angry for a whole five years. All the time that he spoke in, uh, in Parliament, putting all the times together, he spoke not more than 30 minutes. The problem with the INC is capacity. I think they lack it. I think they need to be the You know, that came to know INC. The party is a yellow and the big there, where are you? Because they are just like, not quite right with the INC. I mean, like he said, go to their website. We need to talk. We had uh, a government that was here for 22 years, systematic abuse of human rights. But the, the, it was not one man who did it alone. The TRC showed that the Gambians participated in the process. 1997 constitution is not as terrible as we all think. Mm -hmm. I mean, you look at the provisions that deal with fundamental rights and freedoms, section 18 to 33 and section 36 of section 5, it's as good as it gets, you know, anywhere else in the world. The problem was that the people who were tasked with respecting, honoring and implementing those provisions were the ones violating it routinely. The opportunity was when the draft constitution was uh, rejected. Mm -hmm. Then uh, 
for me, as far as I'm concerned, I lost the group uh, in terms of um, transition. I think um, it was a lot of opportunity because I think the draft constitution that was drawn out, there was this recommendation that you know, the uh, elections, the presidential and national assembly elections, held together. Then probably you know, the enthusiasm that would have, that would be so during the presidential election would have you know, translated into at least electing you know, um, quality people for the national assembly. It was very good for all of us that the draft constitution was the um, we, we've seen all the signs, we've had all of them, but I, I think for the civil society we are not very active to ensure that those things that were coming in will be really good mm -hmm. um, From the get-go, we've seen cabinet positions on some sections of the constitution. The IEC does not have an in-house lawyer, mm -hmm. so that is why as and when they have problems, they hire lawyers from the outside. One of the recommendations that have come out strongly from the international and local observers is that there is need, and we have indeed advised them that there is need for an in-house legal unit or department to provide routine legal advice um, on, a, on a daily basis. I think the courts have been really, um, um, really impartial in terms of um, the rulings that, you know, and the, and the cases that especially the high-profile cases. I think the problem we have and the dilemma we have is the, is the laws. We have actually done very well. There is a big improvement. Um, as she rightly pointed out, 2016 was almost like a watershed moment in, in the history of this, of this, of this country. Um, many things have improved since then, but it is also important that we are not complacent because there is, there is room for greater, greater improvement. We must have oversight institutions. Mm -hmm. People must be held accountable. Mm -hmm. If we do not have the culture of holding people accountable, we can educated people can be tired. The table is just educated people. We have to demand. Mm -hmm. we, can, we, we can see the trust with disabilities. As I said, what I recognize, we are not generalizing to the society. If the government or the CSO puts for the wound, they need to support persons with disability to stand an election. I think all these go down to education. I think the way we educate our kids, you know, we need to be stuck. You know, Gambia is on its own. I think people see election as an opportunity to get very really quick or to have opportunity. So, you know, we need to go back in grassroots and start educating our kids, you know, about civic education. Because these have to be a compulsory subject. Water for us as a citizen uh, to, to give more support to these oversight institutions that are actually created because they need us. They need us. Um, it is one thing to have a good legal framework and with all the powers that you are given by an act of parliament. But, but really, in order to ensure timely and effective implementation of those provisions, um, we need all hands on deck. So I think we need leaders that are really responsible, leaders that um, are there to serve us and not necessarily. Um, um, there just to, um, 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 to, just to stay, stay on power. On the night we will have parliamentarians. Whether we like them or not, whether they are very competent or not, we have to deal with them. So what do we do? We, we cannot abdicate. <laughs> we cannot, as we at the level of the National Human Rights Commission, we continue to engage them, especially the standing committee. So what? I just love this conversation. As a country, we need to talk. Whether we agree or not, this is how we develop our society. Thank you all, really, uh, for your incredibly thoughtful remarks today. Uh, this was an incredibly illuminating session. Uh, I appreciate it. Uh, and for the excellent moderation, I want to acknowledge the moderator as, as well. Uh, this is my first visit to the Gambia, but I am very familiar with the role that civil society has played here uh, since 2016 in supporting this country's democratic experiment. Uh, I know many of you were involved in efforts around uh, the constitution uh, process, um, and I want to acknowledge those efforts and hope that they serve as encouragement for you to continue uh, your efforts after this election. Um, even if you weren't successful in what you wanted to achieve once, uh, it should not be discouragement to you.